Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about the packaging of DNA. So friends, do you know what is the length of the mammalian DNA? The length of the mammalian DNA is around 2.2 meters long. Then what is the size of the nucleus of the mammalian cell? The size of the nucleus of the mammalian cell is around 10 raised to minus 6 meters. Means the dimension of the nucleus is around 10 raised to minus 6 meter. So such a long DNA is to be placed inside such a small nucleus. How is it possible? It is possible due to the packaging of DNA means the wrapping of DNA. So this wrapping of DNA it occurs around some basic proteins. These basic proteins are called as the histone proteins. These histone proteins are rich in the positively charged amino acids like lysine and arginine. So due to the presence of the positively charged amino acid, these histones are the positively charged protein. And we know that the DNA is negatively charged. Why? Because DNA has the phosphorus or the phosphate in them. Due to the presence of phosphate, the DNA has the negative charge. So this negatively charged DNA is wrapped around the basic proteins called as the histone proteins. So inside the nucleus, the double-stranded DNA which is having around the 2 nanometer diameter is wrapped around the histone proteins and they form the thread-like structure. This thread-like structure is called as the chromatin material. This chromatin material is also called as the color thread material and when we stain the nucleus by using the Feulgen stain, this type of threads are observed inside the nucleus. When observed, under the microscope, these chromatin material, they appear as beads on string. Beads on string means the DNA is wrapped around the histone protein. Again, the DNA is wrapped around the histone protein. These histone proteins and the DNA, they form the basic unit of this beads on string model. These basic units, these basic units are called as the nucleosomes. So this beads on string which are also called as the chromatin, these are around 10 nanometer to 11 nanometer in their diameter. So this beads on string, they are 10 to 11 nanometer in their diameter and each bead of the beads on string model or the chromatin structure, it is made up, it is called as the nucleosome. So how this nucleosome is formed? Each nucleosome is made up of the histone proteins and the DNA that is wrapped around them. These histone proteins are made up of four basic monomers. These monomers are H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Each of these monomers, they have the two copies in the histone octamer, means in the nucleosome. So in the nucleosome, these H2A, H2B, H3, H4, these are present in two copies and they form the histone octamer. So here you can see this is the histone octamer in which H2A, two copies, H2B, two copies, H3, two copies and H4 are present in two copies. So around these histone octamer, the DNA takes less than two turns. So less than two turns are taken up by the DNA around these histone octamer to form the core DNA. This core DNA has the length of around 146 base pair. The DNA when it enters into the nucleosome or into this histone octamer at the entry the H1 histone this is one more histone is present so at the entry and the exit of the DNA the H1 histone is present so in this way five histone proteins are involved in the formation of the nucleosome four are involved in the formation of the octamer and one which is called as H1 is present at the entry and the exit of the DNA so from one nucleosome to the another nucleosome, a patch of DNA is present that is also surrounded by the H1 protein. This patch of DNA is called as the linker DNA. So this linker DNA is around 54 base pair in length. So 146 base pair of the DNA are present around the histone octamer and it is called as the core DNA. And in the linker DNA around 54 base pairs are present. So this core DNA plus linker DNA it forms a structure of the nucleosome. So this structure of nucleosome it has around 
200 base pair 146 plus 54 so 200 base pairs are present in each nucleosome so these nucleosomes are arranged like beads on string here you can see this is a dna which is wrapped around the histone octamer again the linker dna again the histone octamer again the linker dna again the histone octamer so this structure is called as the beads on string so this model is called as beads on string which forms 10 to 11 nanometer fiber so these beads on string they are arranged over one another and they form the 30 nanometer fiber this 30 nanometer fiber it is also called as the solenoid fiber and this solenoid fiber is again packaged to form 30 nanometer fiber to 80 nanometer fiber which is also called as the chromatin fiber so here you can observe these beads on string model it is further packaged to form the chromatin fiber the diameter of the chromatin fiber can be 30 to 80 nanometer so this 30 nanometer fiber which is called as a chromatin fiber is further packaged to form the 300 nanometer fiber then 700 nanometer fiber and then 1400 nanometer fiber so 1400 nanometer fiber is represented by the mitotic chromosome so this mitotic chromosome can be observed during the metaphase this is the highly condensed form of the dna around the protein so if the some amount of some amount of the dna at some region is removed out then you can observe that the condensed form of chromosome can be seen this condensed form of chromosome is a wrapped form of chromosome which is also called as 700 nanometer fiber or it is also called as a chromatid these structures can be further removed out and we can observe the structures of 300 nanometer fiber which are the extended form of the chromosome so this 300 nanometer fiber they appear like the loops these loops are further packaged to form the 700 nanometer fiber which looks like a scaffold so it is a condensed form of the chromosome and this condensed form are further packaged to form the 1400 nanometer structure that is called as the mitotic chromosome in this way the packaging of the dna occurs and due to such a packaging of the dna the dna is placed a long dna is placed inside the small nucleus that is around 10 raised to minus 6 in its dimension so in this way the packaging of dna occur so when the packaging of dna occur the size of the dna is decreased around by 10000 times so the size of the DNA is decreased by the 10,000 times so that the DNA is packaged inside the small nucleus. So this is all about the packaging of DNA. Thank you.